at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. I asked him how this improbable conflict could have begun. I think it needs to be kept in mind that the war really began as a balance of military weakness and not one of British strength against American weakness. British seemed to have all the advantages in terms of ships and men and money, but in actual fact, they had several problems that negated all of those obvious advantages. Uh, one problem is they seriously underestimated the colonial militia. And as a consequence of this, they never understood how the Americans were able to sort of mobilize an army just on very short notice. All of a sudden, there would be American soldiers. Um, furthermore, every time the British tried to mobilize the loyalists in the colonies, those loyalist counter-revolutionary uprisings were beat down by those patriot uh, militias. And this really brings us to a second weakness that the British had. Um, the second one was that they overestimated loyalist strength. The British put great hopes on the loyalists in America, and yet uh, loyalist strength proved to be an illusion. Uh, perhaps 20% of white Americans were, were loyalists, and that's all. And the British thought there were many more. A third problem was, I think, that the British did not understand the difficulties they were going to have in conquering a localized, thinly populated society like the United States. Uh, there was no strategic heart in the colonies, which meant that for the British to win, the British were going to have to occupy vast expanses of territory. But when you start talking about occupying vast expanses of territory, you need very big armies, which require a great deal of logistical support. And the British were going to find out that it was very difficult in the age of, of sail-driven ships and in the age of animal-drawn transportation, that it was very difficult to project very much military power across 3,000 miles of Atlantic Ocean and then inland into a really primitive society, which the United States was, where there were very few, very few roads. Certainly another difficulty that the British encountered was that no great war leader emerged in England to rally the population behind the war. And I would say that one other great weakness <clears throat> that the British had was that they had to keep in mind balance of power considerations on the European continent. The British could never devote all of their military resources to the war in America. They always had to keep a wary eye on their ancient adversaries, the, the French and the, and the Spanish. So as a result, you see, the British really had some, some weaknesses that weren't immediately apparent, but weaknesses which in the end proved far more crippling 